Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tech Zulu Live from New Media Expo. I'm your host, Amanda Kulong, and we have another wonderful web series to talk about here with Anunziata Janzaro, um, and she's going to be talking about Battery Park. It's a new cop show, yeah? Yes, it's a new cop show in the vein of uh, of the wire, okay. it's gritty like that, and it's you know obviously following a crime, um, uh, two intersecting crimes actually, mm -hmm. um, but it's also um, it's like the wire meets Shameless. The characters are deeply mm -hmm. flawed. So, I like that. Those cops. are good characters. So the tagline is the police are here to maintain disorder. Oh. <laughs> so it's it's been a lot of fun, and it's um, we're shooting it by coastally, so. Um, we will shoot probably most of the interiors in Los Angeles, as many as we can get away with, because we'll be able to attain more crew there. Yeah. And then, um, and then all the exteriors will be in and around New York, which is obviously a beautiful, wonderful, yeah. multifaceted place to shoot. Right now, Battery Park's a little wet because of Hurricane Sandy, so um, uh, we're okay with pushing some of our shooting there because it's freezing as well. Yeah. Um, I was just on the East Coast for Christmas. Yeah. Don't don't need to be in New England for scary cold days like that. Yeah. Yeah. Not shooting anyway, because no, it's just no. like you never know how long you're going to wind up standing out there waiting for the take. <laughs> so um, so that it's it's going to be a lot of fun, um, and it comes springs out of uh, shows that like that I love. So yeah. and then I miss. I really miss something having something like The Wire yeah. out there. And I every time yeah. Shameless in, in between the seasons, I just wait. You know. <laughs> so I hate that. I hate that waiting period in between where you've got the cliffhanger from the last one and then. Oh, I hate that. that on purpose. I know. But and it's funny if you're an avid fan, you catch now with TiVo, you catch them all. It's yeah. not like you'd go, oh, during the rerun season, I'll catch the ones I missed. You don't. You're like waiting, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, what got you into this business in the first place? I booked a web series, and I really wasn't that, you know, familiar with them. Though I am to be <laughs> out here, it's not like, oh, I have to admit it. I am a geek, and I computer program, and you know that kind of stuff. You do really. Awesome. What do you program in? Um, I used to program in COBOL, but now I'm, yeah, I know, like really ultra geeky. Um, but now I'm just picking up all the, um, you know, the, the new apps that, yep. you know, I'm working in WordPress and I used to work in HTML and I'm d dabbling in HTML5 now, which is great for us with video. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's, you know, I, you know, I'm out there on the internet and it was natural progression for me to be interested in anything that was airing, you know, because I'm working in that space a lot. Yeah. Um, but I booked a show and it was great fun and I went like, wow, what is this all about? Yeah. And um, I immediately joined the IAWTV because the IAWTV um, would force me, at that point it was their second awards show and you've got to watch like hundreds of web series. So I was like, I want to be in the space, I want to create in the space, and I want to see what's out there. Yeah. And so, yeah, that was like a huge induction. But then it's this amazing group of people. They are tight-knit, and we keep running into each other, and they're, they're... There are so many of you around here. It's the International Academy of Web Television, by the way, for those of you who don't know. And the award show is tonight. The award show is tonight, yeah. and a number of my friends... Battery Park isn't ready yet, but, uh -huh. um, but a number of my friends are up for awards, so you Guys, I, who are you rooting for? Anybody specific? Oh, come on! I just did a panel with <laughs> Rachel Hip Flores, and she's a doll and so 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 talented. Yeah. So she's wonderful, and um, I threw a party with uh, Scott Brown of Stockholm, and he's mm. up for best writing of that one. And oh my God, everybody! Yeah. If y'all weren't, you know, uh, oh, and Kristen Nedipak is um, up for costume for her show Skyrim Parodies, which is. Yeah. Just, it's awesome, and the costumes are great, and she makes them all herself. So she really, you know, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she's sitting there making them all herself. So it's like if that is not a well-deserved award, yeah. you know, and you know, at least she got the nomination, so that's great. So it's really like, um, God, all my friends, all my buddies. Yeah. And uh -huh. I, I heard there's there are going to be some shenanigans on stage tonight, from what I've heard, like some limping with some hurt ankles and some tap dancing and I don't know we're oh, gonna see some interesting stuff on stage tonight. That'd be fun. That'd yeah. be fun. Yeah well I mean the thing about web is like it's so untraditional you can wear yeah. whatever you want you can like you know I mean there's just you know all of our shows are anywhere yeah. from like uh, 30 seconds to uh, you know 90 minutes now right. people are putting out right. shows there's no rules and we're like embracing that like crazy we're just like everybody can be themselves. Yeah. 
What are you most excited about for this year as it relates to being a content creator, a writer? Um, what, what sort of maybe even like enabling technologies, something like that, like what, what is it that's really making you go, wow, aha, this is going to be an amazing year in this space? Uh, the transmedia, mm -hmm. the, the multi-platforms. Okay. There people are picture in picturing things, people are pulling yeah. in the interactivity, they are, um, you know, everybody can see everything on their phone now, and they do, and it's crazy um, to, to have to, to follow something yeah. on your phone, but um, it's just, it's, it's, the storytelling is so, I mean, my God, before it was like, we did linear storytelling, yep. we, I mean, we didn't, but priors to us. Yeah. Then we did non-linear storytelling. Now we do like, you know, you can get a piece of the story over here right. and a piece of the story. And it's it's amazing to watch how people's minds work. And somebody yeah. comes up, like, that, you know, they stand up even at a panel to ask a question. They're like, and I'm doing this. And you're like, okay, that just blew my head yeah. off that you came up with that, you know? And these are such creative people. Yeah. I just... And they're my peeps, and I'm so proud to be part of them, you know? It's, it's amazing. I, I like that you use the term transmedia. It's nonlinear storytelling. And the fact that it's so immersive, you know, it's not just passive. I'm sitting there watching a TV. It's, you know, I'm watching something on this screen on my iPad. And on this screen over here, I've got this little piece coming in on my phone. And, you know, there's an offline component. And we're going to send you off on a tangent through the streets of L.A. And yeah, we're, there's a game. You could read in the graphic novel. You could, you yeah. like, you, you can just kind of roll out in all sorts of directions. Yeah. And there's people. You can get more people on your team that like doing things mm -hmm. like that. Um, um, uh, Travis... Richie, who's got the Inspector Space Time. We spoke with him just a little while oh, ago. Oh, great. Yeah, he's got, um, you know, he's got his fans, like, sending him T-shirts and, you know, yeah. all this kind of stuff. They were and making they, merch before the series was even made. I know. <laughs> and they made him, like, a little action figure. I want an action figure. I, you know, I want a little cop doll. <laughs> I totally want that. But, but, um... <laughs> But, you know, and that's like so cool because you, yeah. you can react to your fans and I know traditional TV is even getting into it a little bit because I, Hawaii Five-0 is doing three endings, yep. but not to the degree that we are because no. if you shoot three endings and you let us pick one, we're not really interactively involved in that. Yeah. But if people are helping guide where your story goes, right. you know, and which characters they're really grabbing onto, and then maybe yeah. those characters get more time and more stories, and, you yeah. know, you really get to see what the, you know, you don't have to walk into a boardroom at a network and, 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 like, and guess. And, well, and also hear what eight guys want to yeah. see on network television. Right. You get to see what, like, people want to see, yeah. and that's so exciting to say well my you know my audience is the real audience it's yeah. not you know pitching inside a box you yeah. know literally exactly. <laughs> now this is just going to be the fluffy question of the interview yeah. session but you know we do have an award show tonight what are you wearing tonight um, I decided to go a little bit goth steampunk -y. nice yeah because it's web and it's, you know. Uh, I was really so hoping you were going to say something like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally into that. When you said that, oh, we have to turn the lights on, I was like, no, let's do the goth interview in the dark. Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> but no, it's just something a little edgier. Good, Cause good. It's good to maintain, you know, our realness and our space and not go, not feel the need or the pressure to go mainstream in that sense. Yeah, I did when I was nominated, though. We had a whole conversation <laughs> about this of, like, there's a certain level of taking it seriously and wearing the beaded dress if you're nominated because you don't want to, like, insult the people who are running the thing. Yeah. But when you're not, because you don't have a project that's, yeah. like, ready for it, you just get to go. Although, you know... I, would, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I would do it anyway, yeah. just because it's I think really, it's I think it's a good idea. It's the web space, you yeah. know, it's just, we'll see people in sneakers and jeans, and mm -hmm. we'll see people dressed to the nines. Yep. So, yep. so what are you wearing? I'm not sure yet. I have a few options. Probably something black that looks a little webby, like actual real oh, web, cool. like... Cool. Yeah. Um, so Battery Park, though, uh, when when is it going to be ready? When are people going to be able to watch? In the spring. Okay. I mean, right now there's a trailer at BatteryParkTV.com, okay. um, and um, the uh, the episodes that were you know started rolling out from yep. that were very short. But these sure. will be full length, like 24 minute. That's an exciting yeah. thing about the space too, is that now we're getting okay with longer dramas, right. and people are. You know, they're not just like, it's my lunch hour, I have five minutes. Yeah. So in the spring, it's, you know, pending this weather and, yeah. the, you know, God willing. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <laughs> no more storms, no more storms, no more storms. 
no more hurricanes, no more northeasters, no. We want Battery Park TV, so this has to happen, so good weather, good weather. New York, LA, by coastal Nunziata. And anything else you want to add? Um, just that I run the writers group in New York, so if any writers want to join us, um, you can join through the IAWTV and it's a lot of fun. We read out loud and we actually act out some scenes and people get to polish their scripts, so that's fun. Well, thank you so much for joining us and I can't wait to see the steampunk goth industrial look that you're going to be donning tonight. <laughs> thank you so much. Make sure you look for Battery Park TV because that's going to be coming out this spring.